Expos at the vet. Bottom four, Robert Person, the pitcher off Carl Pavano, a solo shot. It's 4-1 Phillies. Person, the first Phillies pitcher to homer twice in one season since Tommy Green in 93. Top seven, he gets Mark Smith and then Curtis Pry. Top eight now, Peter Bergeron. Then Person rings up Jose Vidro. And finally, Vladimir Oero. Person tied a career high with 11 strikeouts. Allowed just three hits in eight innings. Phillies win 4-1. Bills and Braves now dead even atop the National League East. Scott Rowland on second. Rowland takes off for third. Catcher Michael Barrett throws it to nobody in particular. Rowland heads home. Phillies lead the NL in fielding percentage, but they had three errors on this day, two on Expos. Bottom seven, Marlon Anderson facing Vasquez. As a guy named Little Bird would say, that's hard. 11th homer of the year for Anderson. He's hitting 28 of his last 32 games. We're tied at two. Top eight still tied, two on for Vasquez facing Turk Wendell. Pop foul, first base, Travis Lee, Hayton on Javier. Actually, Javier has been hating on opposing hitters, five and one with a .55 ERA in August. Top nine, runners at the corners. Mira. Orlando Cabrera, 57-year-old Rock Reigns scores. Tim Raines had three hits. He's hitting 414 in the leadoff spot last September 25th. Bottom one, pitching to Vladimir Guerrero. Guerrero with the wood. Andrew Jones getting his PhD. Play a hated degree. That's why Drew has three gold gloves. Top five Expos with some mad defense. Marcus Giles at the plate. Hits it short. Orlando Cabrera, nice backhand stab. Cabrera also had his 31st double this year in the game. Bottom eight, Vlad Guerrero. He's got some wheels. Try and stretch a single into a double. Come on, Vlad. You can't play B. Jordan like that, bro. Brian Jordan, nice gun. Nails Guerrero. Jordan, two outfield assists on the day. He's got 10 this year. Bottom nine, T. Glavin blowing up. Stevens hits it to short. Ray Sanchez, Peyton. First five years of Glavin's career, he was 3-11 against the Expos. Since then, he's 17-2 in front of 6,748 fans, two of whom were his parents. Glavin tosses his 21st career shutout. Not in Cape Girardeau, but 3,600 on hand at Olympic Stadium, fewest in 17 years. Bottom fourth, oh, that's not good right there. Jeff Blum shoves Julio Franco, rounding first, goes to second for an RBI double. No obstruction was called, so they play on. Top nine, game tied at two. Andrew Jones, get you. His 29th homer of the season, 3-2 Braves, and they're the Loyal Expos. You know, if 3,600 people came together to the game, all in the same clown car, they wouldn't have gotten a group discount. Anyway, John Smoltz gets Brad Wilkerson. Then field your position, got Terry Jones, 1-3, that's put out. After Tim Raines double, Smoltz facing Jose Vidro, and this time they'll do it backwards. Julio Franco, and we got the 3-1 put out, and the Braves win it by a count of 3-2. Braves take the first two in the series, move three full in front of Philly. Smoltz picks up his fifth save and as many chances, and he's been dynamite from the pen. 21.1 innings pitch, an ERA of .84. Left field for the first time since July 6, 97, the appearance you see on the right. Oh, Chip doesn't age too much. Look at this. Speaking of aging, Julio Franco, his first home run since September 24th of 97, when he was with the Brewers. Tied at one, bottom five, John Burkett against Terry Jones, popped it up. Ken Caminetti in his first start at third, and he's a factor in the dugout. Oh, did he make the catch? Ruled no catch, because he was in the dugout, is that why? Unfortunately, but boy, you talk about it. Ruled a foul ball, because he was in the dugout? That's what they rule it. Later in the inning, Vlad Guerrero makes it a moot point. Rips the Burkett offering to right center, 33rd of the year. Now has 500 RBI in his career. This home run represented number 501. Six run loss, but Bobby Cox found the silver lining saying we got two out of three here. If we go two out of three the rest of the season. Just the Velcro in his golf club. Jerry Boa not happy because his team hadn't played with intensity, but they did there. Jimmy Rollins, first batter of the game, Dreg Bunts, and Carl Pavano, Lee Stevens forget how to play pitch and catch. Two batters later, Bobby Abreu. Brings Rollins home. Abreu is club leading 27th homer, and the Phillies lead it back kind of 2 0. Bottom first, Vlad Guerrero. Grounds into the inning, ending 4 6 3 double play. Expos major league leading 134th DP. Bottom seven, Expos down 3 0. Got a runner on again, and Jeffrey Edwards. Bob, you get in this house right now. 
Another 4-6-3 double play. Anderson to Rollins to Lee. That's 135th, and they weren't done yet. Bottom nine, still 3-0. Orlando Cabrera, 6-3 double play. Number 136 on the season. Bills end their skid, win at 3-0. Robert Person, 7 and a third scoreless innings against the Expos. Hasn't allowed a run in 25 and a third career innings. Fading fills in Montreal where Javier Vasquez had it going top two facing Jimmy Rollins with runners on second and third is 200th strikeout of the season. Vasquez retired 19 of 20 at one point including Todd Pratt in seventh. He went eight allowed two runs on four hits struck out none. Bottom seven Turk Wendell facing Vladimir Guerrero to left. Vasquez scores Guerrero's 40th double of the year. The Expos win 4-2. Vasquez now 6-0, 0.94 in his last six starts. He becomes the first Expos pitcher to strike out at least 200 in a season since some guy named Pedro Martinez in 97. Phillies have lost five of six. They're now a season high three and a half back of Atlanta. Phillies in the Expos, Jimmy Rollins. Fails it down the right field. Right field line, fair ball. Fair ball. The Wolf Pack is, look at that. Randy Wolf did some things he does not normally do. Orlando Cabrera into the 1 6 3 double play. Top of the sixth. Tomas Perez facing Guillermo Mota. The ball bounces over the head of Mark Smith. Whoops! And it bounces up at base running by. Doug Glanville on the play goes to third. Rob Wahap. Well, even Gold Glove outfielders don't do what. Smith is going to do on this play. Tries to deke right there. Glanville going into second base, try to hold him to a double. This is your home field. You got to know where the ball is going to bounce on the turf. Bounces over Smith's head. Glanville takes another base. They ruled it a double, but he ends up with a sliding triple. And the next man up, Johnny Estrada, base hit that scores Glanville, and it's three nothing in favor of the Phillies. Good job by Johnny Estrada to get a run. Randy Wolf. Around the butt, is out of there. Actually, no. Randy Wolf is batting. Great bunt. Tomas Perez comes in to score. RBI bunt single, 4 0 Phillies. Bottom six, Vladimir Guerrero. 5 4 3, double play. And Wolf is cruising along to the bottom of the ninth. Mark Smith, down he goes. And Randy Wolf delivers exactly what the Phillies have to have. They went at six zip, remain three and a half behind Atlanta. Wolf a six hitter. Phillies hoping Saturday's win was a sign of things to come as opposed to an aberration. Was it? Jimmy Rollins singles in the right. Glanville's trying to score. Vladimir Guerrero. Glanville, pretty hand slide to avoid the tag. What's well, a tremendous slide, Carl? The catcher has taken away the whole plate. So you see him looking, well, where do I go? I'll go around and try to reach back. Very nice. In that Rocky Giant game, Helton tried the same thing, slid right past home, then he was tagged out. Tony Armas Jr. leaves after three innings, he's got a strained lower back muscle, and the Phillies' bats exploded. Glanville, Estrada, Graham Lloyd walks Jimmy Rollins. Next up, Smar out. Marlon Anderson gets hit. Bobby Abreu to second. E4, pitchers don't keep their feelers in the game, H, that's gonna happen. Here's Scott Rowland, an RBI stake there. Travis Lee, ball four. Felipe Crespo gets under one. Good for a sack fly. Glanville's walking. Johnny Estrada, take your pick. Scott Rowland scores. Jeff Torborg, he's going to walk into the showers. Phillies get six in the top of the fifth. Not a good day to be the home plate on Jerry Davis. The boring. Goodness. <laughs> wow. That hurt here in Bristol. That nailed him. Orlando Cabrera fouled one off. A fan deflected it. They knocked the guy's glasses off. Hey, look, there's only about 3,000 people there. To hit somebody is amazing. Right, here goes another foul ball. Look out! Incoming! <laughs> Give him some ice. Hang in there. Give him a hard hat. 12-4, the Phillies. Win over the Expos, rolling, careful. Season I, four RBIs, third of that, actually in the ballpark for the game between the Marlins and the Expos. Charles Johnson, an Expos bullpen coach, Pierre also now holding American and Canadian flags. Canadian Mounties leading a procession of police and rescue service personnel. Flags side by side at Olympic Stadium in Montreal. Bottom five, Javier Vasquez batting. Ryan Dempster hits him right in the head. Vasquez, Vasquez would get up, the had to be taken to the hospital for x-rays. Dempster obviously concerned. Top six, Marlins down 6-5 at this point. Luis Castillo, he goes to the gap in right center. CJ comes in, 
Alex Gonzalez will score. Castillo with a triple Dempster charge with six runs on eight hits and four and a third. Marlins an eight run six. They win 10 6. Smallest crowd of the season at Olympic Stadium. A lot in the pregame. A couple of former Expo teammates, Andre Dawson and Tim Raines, talking. Marlins up 1 0 in the third. Brad Wilkerson off of Brad Penny. Preston Wilson in front of just 2,917 people at the stadium makes a nice catch. Bottom four, two out, same score with a runner on third, Lee Stevens. Alex Gonzalez, good grab, gets it to Derek Lee, who barely holds on for the out, but gets the out in the inning. Top nine, Marlins up 2 nothing. Wilson. Again, his second homer of the game, his seventh multi-homer game of his career. Preston Wilson is hitting 409 during his current 11-game hit streak. He's got 21 homers. Brad Penny. 500 fans in Montreal, Expos hosting the Marlins. There are more. They're 2,887, smallest ever at Olympic Stadium. Bottom four, Josh Beckett facing Lee Stevens. Stevens can't touch the curve. Beckett runs his scoreless streak to 10 innings through four. Bottom five, those scoreless streak over. Jose Vidro doubles. Vidro three for four, hitting 318. That tied it at one. Next batter, Vlad Guerrero, two runs shot. Vladdy's 34th homer of the year, 101 RBI. He has 100 RBI, four straight seasons. Expos win at 5-2. For the third straight night. Despite being out of playoff contention, Jeff Torborg still doing his job. Pinch hitter Greg Norton with the bags full. Jose Vidro snag and starts the double play. Bottom eight, bases full. Orlando Cabrera with a game tie. Not anymore. One of his two doubles. Clears the bases. 6-3 Expos. Montreal goes on to win 8-3. Canada. Bottom nine, Expos down 9-8. to eight. Jose Jimenez trying to close it out, but Jeff Bloom, a loop at a center, scores. Jose Vidro, we're tied at nine. Expos done there. We go to extra innings. Top of the 11th, bases loaded for Todd Helton against Guillermo Mota. Helton goes the other way. Juan Pierre scores, and the Rockies go on to win. RBI 132 for Helton, 10,510 on hand. After 24 years in baseball, Expo GM Jim Beatty says he's going to take a break from baseball, spend some time. Expos. Fan actually throwing an object onto the field. Uh, security, of course, a concern. You mean there was a fan out there in the outfield? There was. Scott Ellerton, the former Astro, pitched well here to Vladimir Guerrero. Yeah, how do you pitch to Vladimir Guerrero? He's 0-2. Knocks him off the plate, way up and in again, 2-2, two -two, and then comes back way low and away, and Vladdy will chase. Jose Ortiz, Masato Yoshi, in time. Watch it again. Great reaction. Yeah, I didn't know he had that in him, that kind of vertical leap. Didn't know a guy wearing 55 could move like that. <laughs> Bottom five, Brian Schneider to right. Two-run home run, his first career home run. The Expos win at 3-1. Ellerton the loss, even though... Well, if y'all showed up, maybe you could. Top two ones at Mets, Kevin Apier. Down the right. Check out the ball boy. That ball boy's got six ball boy gold gloves. Now watch, bottom four ones at Mets. Orlando Cabrera with the drive. One ball boy saw the other ball boy, so he figured, yo, man, I can do it too. <laughs> One problem, Dan, that was a fair ball. You can't grab a fair ball. Rule to ground rule double. Bottom five, Brian Schneider. Deep drive to center. Jay Payton. Play a Hayden. Peyton, that's a funny looking jump. Peyton making up for an 0 for 3 day at the plate. Top six, peace. Mike Piazza. 35th home run of the year. Takes Carl Pavano out. 86th RBI for Mike Piazza. Mets win the game. Two zip. Kevin Apier, complete game. Four hit, three Ks. First shutout of the season, 12th of his career. Mets pitching the last eight games in ERA 2.10. They are 23 and 6 in the last 29. Piazza's 20th career homer against the Expos. Since August 18th, they're 23 and 6 in Montreal. Boy, this is disheartening news. Mike Piazza hit on the hand. Watch it from the bat right to the hand, not quite protected behind his right leg. He ought to leave the game. X-rays, though, revealed no break, but that got to hurt. You wonder how that will affect Piazza's throwing and hitting the rest of the way. Jay Payton, top of the six. Mets up 3-1. Mark Smith, beautiful catch. Bottom eight, 5-1 Mets. Expos try to rally. Jeff Bloom singles to left. Bidro scores. Cabrera going to test Shinjo's arm. You don't test Shinjo's arm. The Mets now 24-6 since August 18th, but he tells his 42 saves. Thumb. He said he'd be ready for the Braves, but trying to save him here. Bruce Chen is on the hill, and he'd get roughed up. Long drive. Shiyoshi Sinjo tried, but Stevens 
with the shot. 6-2, Expos with the lead. Sinjo hurt himself there. He goes after everything out there, but he's staying in the game. Next man up, Jeff Blum. Back to left again, and here we go. Siyoshi Sinjo, another fine defensive play. He's made a lot of great plays this year. Bobby Valentine told me today, Shinjo is a gold glove outfielder. He'll never win one, he said, but he should win one this year. He can play left, he can play center, he can play right, which is very, very unusual, and he makes a great play here on a bum leg, it looks like. In the fourth inning, it's 6-2. Ray Ordonez puts it up the middle. Orlando Cabrera bobbles. Jay Payton trying to score. No, very out. And the Mets lose a chance, so we go to the top of the seventh. 6-4 Expos, bases loaded, here comes that man again. Siyoshi Shinjo base hit. He is a clutch hitter. Matt Lawton is held, but a run scores, it's 6-5. Next man up is Todd Zeal, it got a little squirrely here, Mike. Yeah, Britt Reams on the mound, first pitch, a breaking ball, it backs up a little bit. Called a strike by umpire Mark Wagner. The one thing that you don't expect from Todd Zeal is to have that affect him, but it looks like it did. Have a bad call, not a bad pitch in that situation. Now, exactly right, but two things here. Todd Zeal is a veteran. You gotta let him get his words in. It doesn't look like he says all that much, and Wagner tosses him. Second thing, Todd Zeal, this is a big ball game. He's too experienced to get kicked out of this thing. You can't get kicked out of this ball game. Bobby V tossed out. Yeah, Piazza not in the lineup. You need a guy with a big bat, ostensibly. Valentine tossed out. Now he's going to get his money's worth. Things would eventually calm down. Jake Hayton, bases still loaded, rips this, but no. Mike Mordecai, unassisted. And that'll do it for the inning. Well, do you still believe? Top of the eighth, 6-5 Expos. Man on for Desi Relliford. That's a big shot. Lift and separate. I believe, Brian. That's big that boys. Home. 7-6 Mets take the lead. Top of the ninth now. Bases loaded. 7-6 Mets. Who are you going to call? You're going to call Mike Piazza. Call the leader. 3-2 again. Piazza Graham Lloyd's again. pitching to him. Payoff pitch. And all oh, Met fans will enjoy this. It's not over yet. One Met will score. Two. Three Mets will score. Base is clearing double. The Mets are three games out of first place as they face the Braves. The Mets scoring seven in the eighth and ninth. Chance to get there. Montreal, Cincinnati. Joey Hamilton, Brian Schneider. And he took one away from the kid. Junior, tremendous catch. We told him to shut it down about two months oh, ago. He whoa. just said, hey, I'm we gonna didn't tell him to do anything. Me and Mr. Peter G. We didn't say anything. Vladimir Guerrero has three hits in this one. Career high in home runs, by the way, for the meat hook. Dimitri Young's 20th of the season. The Expos leave four runners at third base. They lose for the 91st time. The Expos have lost 90 games each. Strange things are happening. Really Top second, A.J. Burnett. Ow. Takes a bite out of Ump Ed Rapuano. Bottom second, Tony Armas plunks Dave Berg. So then in the fourth, Berg says, well, I'll just shoot it right back at you. Ouch. Back at him faster than he threw it. Armas going to leave the game. Armas, day to day. Top seven, Brian. Schneider, nice. It's a grounder off Burnett's leg. This is vicious. Same inning. Preston Wilson, Eric Owens. Look out for each other. Mercifully, someone won. It was the Marlins, 4-3. Expos Marlins, Vlad Guerrero. Boy, he crushed that, didn't he? Off of Juan Acevedo, that scores Terry Jones. Guerrero's 45th double of the year, and the Expos would add another run and go on to win a 2 to nothing, beating Florida. Expos and Mets, Lenny Harris on the right, one hit away from tying Manny Mota on the left, the record of 150 career pinch hits, and Harris, a single. He ties the record with his 150th career pinch hit, but the Mets lose, 8-6. to six. It's Friday night, and Harris pinch hitting bottom six against Carl Pavano. Base hit to right, and there it is, pinch hit number 151. Lenny Harris, baseball's all-time pinch hit leader. Mike Piazza and company out to congratulate Harris, who blows a kiss to the crowd. With the way the Mets assure themselves of a winning record for the fifth straight year, Kevin Apier finishes his first year as a Met 11 and 10 after matching the team's season high with 11 Ks. This club, Bobby Valentine didn't let them quit. The players didn't quit, and and they responded to uh, the tragedies of September 11th better than any club out there. No doubt. They were in the World Series last year.